I personally experience that a movie can change a lot. It did change us, not this movie, but another one. Uh, I have been working with these parents since 2008. And when we started, uh, there was one movie available which was about the parents in, in Italy, parents who have LGBT uh, children. So we had a chance to watch it in Italy and then we took it to Turkey and made the Turkish subtitles and showed it many places. That movie inspired our group as well. The parents in our group get more encouraged uh, by seeing that there are parents in other countries and, and they made a way. So they were feeling like the parents in Turkey, like they were like, we can also do this. And we also realized that people who were watching that movie, one documentary, was also getting inspired a lot. But of course there were missing things in it, like it's, it's about another culture, and well, many things are common, like machismo, like the <coughs> patriarchal society, but um, you also need some your own, uh, things from your own culture. So we were like, you know, uh, hopefully we will do our movie one day. And that is this movie. We made it. I'm one of the initiators of the group. So when I decided to write my thesis on this subject, I started to reach parents in Turkey one by one. And then this you know, got bigger like a snowball. Why did I choose it? Because much more before that I started to work with them and decided to write my thesis on it, um, I met two parents in Europe. One of them was the head of the parental group in UK and the other one was the, the head of the Italian parental group. And they were the first two mothers that I could be able to come out personally and hug and cry on their shoulders. So I knew that this is an important subject and those two ladies um, really changed my life. It's always the women who changed my life actually and they were one of them. And they asked me the very, very crucial question, um, are there parents in Turkey? And I said, not like you. And she, one of them said, why don't you start it? So that's why I chose this subject. First to work on for my PhD, then to work them in the field, in the civil society in Turkey. Well, at the beginning it was not very easy to reach them. Uh, even you reach them, they didn't know what to do. We didn't, I didn't know what to do either very much, but how, how, far, how far we could go. Uh, but as soon as we public, start to publicize it, people start to join us and call us. First to, to get help, of course, to get support from other parents like them. Then. Then, surprisingly, it got really big. Uh, we started in Istanbul, then we spread the seeds to other cities in Turkey. We have groups in Ankara and in Izmir. And now, with this film, it is getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, it is a kind of coming out also for the parents. Um, they go to similar processes that the LGBT people go. Uh, first, first, you need to accept this insight. Then, then maybe you share it with a friend. That friend for, can be another relative for a parent. Maybe they, they share it with their wives, husbands. And then they start to share it with other people in the society. And at the end, as you see in the movie, one day, not all of them have to be like that, but one day they take the flag and march on the street and, and support their children for the basic human rights that all should have.
first, they know that there are parents somewhere in the society who are just like, like the LGBT people in closet and suffering because of nothing. So they want to help them. Then they know that uh, the, this human rights problem is not only the issue of their own children. Because if they want the happiness of their children, they realize that they have to stand next to them. Not in front of them or not behind them, but next to them. First of all, there, are, there is no law against LGBT people, but there is no law positively discriminating people or you know, giving their value in the basic laws. Like, um, the main uh, target of the LGBT movement in Turkey is uh, to add the uh, SOGI, sexual identity and the gender, uh, sexual orientation and gender identity into the new constitution, which Turkey is trying to do for a long time. Um, we have problems with that. The party in the uh, government opposes that, but we do have support from the opposition. This is going on uh, for a long time. Um, there's also no uh, hate crime law, which passed very recently, but they took the sexual orientation and gender sexual orientation and gender identity out of it at the very last minute, which was quite you know uh, disappointing for us. On top of that, I mean it's not only violence, it's not only uh, human rights abuses. People are being killed in Turkey for being LGBT, and sometimes they are killed by their families. And there are court cases going on this issue. Uh, very recently, this was a very important case in Turkey. A family was punished, a, f a father and his two uh, brothers for killing, uh, for, for killing his son. And uh, so that's why these things are important here in Turkey, there in Turkey. That's a very good point. Um, there are two different things on this issue. On one hand, you need laws. Well, okay, you are part of EU now. Probably you have the uh, necessary discrimination laws and blah, blah. We don't have that. But on top of it, we have the LGBT movement very strongly from the beginning of 90s. So yes, we have the grassroots level movement that people are fighting for it for years and years. This is my 15th time in Romania. I started to come here from the beginning of the 2000s. And I even had a chance to witness the first gay pride, which was not on a street, it was in a club or something. Yeah, that is the main difference. Um, you may have law, but that doesn't mean much as long as you don't have the movement and people who are, you know, out and fighting for it. Then, when you march, yes, people may attack if they see that you are vulnerable. 